Morning, Jahan. Good morning. What's going on? We're getting ready for what? a pier cleanup or beach cleanup, whatever you want to call it. The underwater pier cleanup. Yep. Fairfield Beach. Very far from home. I'm very far from home. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. What are you planning to do yeah. down there? Um, clean. Clean what? The pier. Wait, what else is there to clean? What do you think you're gonna see down there? Uh, trash. So you guys gonna trash. see trash under the pier? That's it. Yep. No We're wildlife. See, uh, uh, line and weight. Oh, bro. Fishing line. What kind of wildlife do you think you're gonna see? Squid. Squid. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe some barracuda. No, I'm gonna shoot it. Look down. Spade fish. The fish that look like angel fish with stripes. All right, guys, we're here at the Darefield Beach Pier, getting ready to go in to do the cleanup. Water is looking great. It's a nice and flat day. There were already a bunch of guys in the water and came out already. We're gonna head out and see what we can grab. Get out as much trash as possible. We had to uh, walk down the sand, so I'm a little tired, but we're gonna go ahead and get in there now. This is your first time doing the underwater cleanup as a diver. Are you ready? Ready to get your trash on? <laughs> All right, let's go. Minnows swimming already. I'm here with my zookeeper. For anyone interested, I'll leave a link to the zookeeper in the comments and description below. There's plenty of barracuda under the pier. This was the first set of line I was able to cut from off of one of the columns. We cut to avoid damaging the life that has grown on the column. I think swimming through this large school of fish was probably my favorite part of this dive. Like the movie Nemo, just keep swimming.
From doing the cleanups before, I know that for whatever reason, the lead weights tend to gather at the base of the concrete columns. A quick sweep of the sand exposes the piles of weights beneath. The only problem here is that over time it seems they fuse together and can become difficult to remove. So some are easier than others, but I mostly pick up the ones that are freely sitting in the pile. Meanwhile, Joel explores beneath the pilings to see what's hiding. As you can see, I found a couple pennies in the pile. The zookeeper makes a great cleanup companion. It's definitely less cumbersome than using the mesh bag, especially for hook and fishing line. That was five cents. I found more quarters on the last cleanup.
I ain't sure what this barracuda was doing. It kept moving its jaw up and down. It's like that long, sharp tooth might have been bothering it. Or maybe just trying to digest its last meal. I don't know, I'm just observing. As you've seen, there are lots of barracuda under the pier, most closer to the front of the pier than the back end. There were a bunch of prizes at the end. A raffle ticket was issued to everyone that registered for the cleanup. What's up, people? We're back from the uh, underwater cleanup. It was a good day. The water was nice and calm. Lots of uh, barracuda and spade fish and, um, and look downs and all kinds of fish were under there. We didn't get there very late. We were um, there by nine, so we were only an hour behind. I did get a lot of lead weights. Those are kind of hidden. You have to actually sift through the sand to see them. Depending on how long they've been down there, they sometimes get fused in and they're hard to take out. So I got a ton of little lead weights that I put in the bucket and sent up to uh, the people waiting up above the pier. Saw so a really big barracuda, a school of barracuda, um, some stingrays and stuff like that. So it was, it was a cool dive. Anyway. See you on the flip side. I encourage you to be at the next cleanup. There were 451 participants and we managed to remove 610 pounds of trash, including over 638 hooks, 4,829 weights. Click on the next video, which YouTube recommends as the best for your viewing pleasure.